Hello, my now Photoshop friends. In my working experience as a fashion retoucher, I do a lot of black and white. So I'm going to show you my five, my top five black and white effects that I go to when I'm doing black and white fashion. It's really easy, non-invasive, so that way you don't mess up with your actual original image. And this is the first one and basic one. The regular black and white with option to take the opacity down. You're going to see it. New adjustment layer in the icon for new adjustment layer. Remember this step, we're gonna be doing this a lot. Uh, your property window will be popping out, will pop out, I'm sorry, and you will have those channels of red, yellow, green, and cyan. You really need to, first of all, study your image, see what colors you're working with. You know, we have skin, so red and yellow, and we also have like blue eyes, so we're definitely be working with that. In your property window, you're gonna play with those you would like to play with those adjustments. You know, try to find a really interesting effect. Take the opacity down a little bit and bring those colors in the background layer. This is the first one, it's really easy. The next one, you're gonna do the same. New adjustment layer, black and white, twice. So you have two. In the top one, you're gonna change it to the option of overlay. That way you can have like a contrasty image, very harsh, very strong. This is really good for male fashion photography. The bottom layer, we are gonna use it to play with the adjustments. The top layer, it's overlay, and the bottom layer, we're gonna play with the adjustments. We're gonna, we would like to bring some detail in the skin. We would like to bring those blue eyes also, using the cyan color channel. Play with, uh, with the adjustments, have fun. The third one, black and white, uses the same layout. But instead of having overlay, we're gonna have screen. Now with screen, we're gonna have like a high key, very luminous and delicate effect effect on your image, black and white. This is really good for female fashion photography. It is not a rule, it is not set on stone. You can do, do it for a female or for male, but it's really recommended for, for female because it's really luminescent. You're gonna keep playing with those adjustment uh, channels in the property window. Keep playing with that. Keep bringing those details in the in the skin and the eyes with those colors. Okay. The next one is really requested because it's kind of like a wash down effect, kind of like a smoke screen effect that people is really uh, obsessed in fashion. Okay. Same old, same old go to the new adjustment layer black and white but this time the second layer will be gradient map make sure the gradient map is going from black to white and then choose the reverse option that way you can have like a kind of like a x-ray effect that's exactly what we're looking for because now we're gonna go to opacity and we're gonna take that opacity down from 17 to 25 percent and that way we can have that you know, smoke, kind of like wash down effect that people like a lot. But also, we're gonna have the liberty because we have a, a, the bottom layer, black and white adjustment layer. We're gonna play with those adjustments, those color channels, and we're gonna have that advantage to, you know, bring some detail to the skin, to the eyes, without losing that wash down effect. It's really uh, amazing effect, I really like it. Okay, the next one, it is the vintage. You can never go wrong with the vintage right now because it's just so in fashion. Everybody likes vintage. So what you're gonna do is the same thing. Go to the adjustment layer, black and white. But this time, the second layer, the top one, will be a solid color, new adjustment layer. I'm gonna choose my favorite color, which is a light blue. And blue, gamma, I like blue. And I'm gonna take it to difference. And that will give it like a pink, kind of pink tint, kind of pink color when you take the opacity down to 15 to 20 percent and now the black and white bottom layer new adjustment layer you're gonna keep playing with those adjustments just keep playing with those adjustments because you can have fun you can have different effects you have like tons and tons of effects that you can you know do with that also bring those eyes bring the details in the in the skin just that's very important okay also you can take the opacity down in that bottom layer so that you can bring those colors of the background layer you know i really hope you like this please subscribe and i see you later